Hello everyone, it's a college football guy here with another video. Yeah, I'm in the truck. Been running around crazy. Move got done, move got done but um, yeah, my feet are still not talking to me. I'm still pretty <laughs> sore from that, doing almost all the furniture and everything else. But hey, got moved. Got everything done. Now, I made a video a while back about... Florida State's athletic director saying the fact that the revenue that they're making wasn't acceptable. This isn't cutting it. Well, apparently he went at it again, as the title of the video says. You know, this Clemson and Florida State wanting unequal revenue. Let me get into this first off, so let's get the housekeeping out of the way. Everyone, please smash the like button, hit the thumbs up, helps with the algorithm. The more thumbs up it gets, the more people see, see the video, the bigger the channel can get. So please hit the thumbs up. Comment on the video, what you know, we hear what you think about this, and subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 400 subscribers. Let's see if we can get there. Now, do I think that, oh, Florida State and Clemson are going to leave the ACC and go to the SEC? Okay. I need an honest answer here from everybody out here who thinks that's actually an idea. Who do you think has deeper pockets? Texas and Oklahoma? Or, and booster wise, Texas and Oklahoma or Clemson and Florida State? I'd say Texas and Oklahoma. And they were balking at paying $100 million because that's where their TV revenue would be with two years left on the deal. The earliest two years of revenue lost, or one year revenue lost. You know, it's $100 million, count the penalty fee. Contract for the ACC into 2036 of one year plus penalties is $100 million. What would 13 years be in the ACC? Hmm? $500 million? Think anybody at Clemson or Florida State's boosters is going to write that check? No. Are, they, are they talking about they're leaving? No, I don't. If, if the ACC lets them walk, gives them some cheap little bit amount of money, and Oh, yeah, there you go. You don't have to stay around. No problem. Go ahead and leave. It'd be easy. If anybody at the ACC is dumb enough to do that, you should get fired on the spot. But I don't see them being that dumb. I don't see anybody being that dumb. I don't see anybody doing that. Are they going to ask for unbalanced revenue? Gee, this sounds familiar. Oregon and Washington, anyone? Cal Stanford? And how bad is the Pac-12 sinking because of that? With all this little drama, and that's exactly what this is, drama, all this drama going on, I'm thinking June 30th might be very, very interesting. Because we were all thinking about it's cool, from the Pac-12 leaving. Now, oh, the ACC to make it. Like I said, if Texas and Oklahoma are paying $50 million apiece, or whatever the split is, say $50 million apiece, to lead the Big 12 a year early, what would Clemson and Florida State be with 13 years left on that deal versus one? Think about it. I don't see them paying for it. I don't see them doing it. I can see them trying to get unequal revenue and crying and whining and complaining. First off, okay, you get more revenue. Who are you taking it from? Where some of the lower end schools say, you know what? You know that, that merger you want to leave? You know what? Let's do that. But uh, could this whole thing be... Or somebody brought up and said it to me. Because maybe You think Clemson and Florida State, maybe Caroline and somebody else, or maybe Notre Dame, are working behind the scenes saying, hey, we're going to get our uneven revenue, and you're not going to get it. You're going to lose your revenue because we're going to ask for higher revenue so they can keep us. But they might actually vote to dissolve, dissolve the grant of rights. Just a thought. I doubt it. But then again, with the way college football is right now and everybody trying to make money, who knows anymore? Because I really don't. But let me know what you think about this in the comments. Do you think they're going to try to leave? I mean, they want to leave. I mean, it's painfully obvious they want out. But they're stuck till 2036 unless something happens. Um, so let me know in the comments what you think. I think this is much ado about nothing. This is just grandstanding for the sake of grandstanding look good but uh, we'll see thanks everybody for watching the video I'm uh, 
here just outside of Nashville. We'll be heading to East Tennessee outside of Knoxville tonight. Get there about 11 o'clock, 11.30 Eastern. And then uh, call it a night and then uh, head back out again. It's been a fun, long day. So I started, woke up at 4.30 this morning. Not finishing up until 11 at night. Yeah, I've got coffee up in the front and ready to go. So <laughs> thanks everybody for watching the video. Hope everybody had a great Monday morning. Be safe out there and please be good to each other.